What's up guys, my name is Bumbleclay, welcome to another episode of Washington Capital's Future GM series and today's episode is special and there is two reasons for that. First of all, we are starting the simulation, we will be moving through the season with our young team, with our dynamic uh, five-star star. <laughs> and also another reason why this episode is special is because today I'm trying something new. It's a little thing, it's not really affecting anything, but I hope it will be fun and I would really love to hear your feedback on that. And this thing is that now me as a Washington Capitals GM, I have a phone. Not this kind of phone, you see this is my Blackberry, not this phone. This phone is is not what I'm talking about. We're having another phone and uh, it's a phone for our social media and we will be getting a different sorts of messages we'll be getting text messages we'll be getting some tweets from different people and all that stuff and they all will be informative or you know adding a little bit of a story i know it's maybe a long shot but i think it will be fun for example i will show to you right now before the season alex avechkin wrote a tweet on his twitter and he says that it was 18 unbelievable years. I will never forget great city of Washington, which I love as much as Moscow. But things change and it's time to move on. Yeah, that's that makes me really sad. That makes me want to, you know, give Maki back to New York Rangers. Because, well, it's really 18 years. It's not, you know, something. Oh, it's, it's, it's really sad. Or, for example, we will be seeing a text messages. For example, a text message from Ted Leonsis. He's the owner of Washington Capitals and, oh, he does not look happy. What's his writing? Hope you know what you're doing. We need to get at least two conference finals to make up for a loss of our legend. Well, that's kind of a bold saying. And, yeah, he says that he uh, has high expectations from this team. Yeah, probably when I was discussing, of course I was discussing it with him and I was saying that we need to build a young team fast and we do not need to make the same mistake that uh, previous GMs of Washington Capitals done. They uh, put too much pressure on their young star. They, they wanted it all to be around him and I don't want to make the same mistake. Brookbank, he might be a five-star player, but he's a young guy and I don't want to put any extra pressure on him. What I want to do is I want to build a team with a depth which is going to produce and I don't want to expect a lot from him. And yeah, I said that we need to do it quick and we can't really afford to lose an asset like Avechkin for nothing. And well, looks like, looking at this tweet, looks like he's saying that we need to prove that, that it was a right move. Well, okay, we gotta prove it. Conference finals is the third round. If it's what we gotta do, it's with what we, it's what we gonna do. And also, you know, just to give you the feel of this new feature, is we will be getting a lot of those during the episode. We will be getting some stats, uh, some you know other cool stuff. So it will not be you know just useless things. It will be things that will give us something to talk about while we're seeming to make uh, some basis for our decisions. It will be good stuff. You will see. Just keep watching. And yeah, this is the another tweet. It's from the official ESPN tweet and they uh, they are really quoting undirectly the interview with me and they saying that Caps GM Anthony Bubbles, <laughs> it's me, uh, he told ESPN that trading Avechkin was the hardest decision he could do. Yeah, we actually told with them and this is exactly what I have told them that it's it's hard because I know that he is truly a legend, that he is a franchise player, but I assure them that we will build a team and this is that and that this will be a new chapter in Washington Capitals history and that it will be even glorious than it was before. And I hope that I'm right. Okay, let's uh, go to simulating. Yeah, our settings are fine, I remember that. Also, what do we have here? Let's look at our lines, in case you guys forgot. Probably I forgot it too, because uh, I only built them in the end of the previous episode. And, hmm. Some of you guys suggested that we probably should trade Backstrom for this young kid. 
uh, on Detroit. I don't know if it's possible, but let's try trading negotiations. We don't even need to go to the uh, trading block. We can just do it from here. Detroit, they have a lot of... Yeah, this McLean. You see, he's 87 overall. And I think he was less than that. I, th I think he was like 85 or something. And he looks pretty solid. His, uh, his uh, face-offs are great. He's young. He kind of a future and uh, okay they don't want to give him up and backstrom they don't want backstrom you see this might be a problem and their trading value is pretty much similar mclean is a little bit better so to really get him we need to give them something back and while we technically we have maybe you know like leave or something but they will not really give 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 him up so we don't really have any draft assets you see we it's actually pretty hilarious we have uh, the next drafts uh 24 25 and 26 we have only two picks on this draft on in the first three rounds we have second uh, over uh, second not overall second round pick in this year's draft and first round pick uh, two years from now and that's all that's all we got and even third pick from uh, three years from now we still don't go don't have so yeah we really really wasted a lot of those picks so we don't really have any training assets so i don't think that it will go through you see his training value is a little bit lower and some of you guys said that we kind of need this veteran presence that backstrom is bringing so i think that maybe Maybe it we it will be okay to keep him at least for now. And now I think that yeah we can really move on with our season. I think we took care of everything. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah we signed everybody. Yeah we have some yeah, our cap cap is tight and yeah we can pretty much sim through the preseason. Let's just do it okay those days those days I, I have no idea how we will be doing i don't know what's it's gonna be like i don't even know what lines other teams have oh yeah this is dead leon says he says playoffs but in his message he already said that he wants conference finals so don't believe that that's kind of a you know that's that that's that means nothing yeah and brookbank <laughs> kind of proves that he's that star that we were hoping him to be we should be doing good actually because well the only thing that we're kind of missing that we don't have is this top two defender really you know great one but it's kind of manageable i think and uh, probably we'll be able to do something we have a uh, adequate defense that's all that i can say and yeah brookbank what a beast he is five goals in five games i know it's preseason yeah i know that but that's that's still pretty impressive Okay, I think it's the last game of the preseason against uh, Columbus, and yeah, well, we lost. Okay, okay. Okay, let's stop the simulation for a minute. Okay, now it's time to move on to the regular season. And while we're doing it, oh, here is another message. And this message is from Sam. He's our assistant GM. And he's writing us that Mac, he's uh, regarding to Maki, our new left winger from Rangers. Mac was impressive in the preseason. Five goals, seven apples. He means assists. He's the best in the NHL. Well, that's probably true. And yeah, that's good to know. You kind of expect that Brookbank's, uh, Brookbank will be the best, but yeah, it's a good thing that um, Maki, who is, uh, he's he's pretty impressive. I think he is around, uh, can we check it out quickly? I don't even know. Uh, where can we check it? Trade players. No, 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 I know what we will do. Mm, what should we do now is let's simulate up to this day. And this is the beginning of the season, so all the team's roster should be fine. And let's just quickly go 
uh, through the lines to see what kind of lines all the teams are really have and this is yeah Mike is still 86 by the way he haven't had his jump okay uh, Winnipeg uh, McDavid and the call we'll do it really quick uh, Kreider pretty deep lineup Anaheim has Lucic is still with Boston yeah that's pretty weak Kachov, Grenka, Silverberg nice nice forwards for Buffalo Knight, Sprong, Barchi, well that's decent, decent, Taves, oh no he has Case instead of Kane, Taves is still good to go after 10 years, that's great to see, McKinnon is great, Duchesne is still good, well yeah he's pretty young, yeah that's all fine, uh, Ryan Johansson is 90 overall, Nichushkin is 84, Barzal, he was drafted by, I don't know who he was drafted by actually in real life and if he was drafted, I know that he is a prospect. Uh, Sam Reinhardt, Detroit actually has a pretty decent first line, they have Sherbach, they have McLean as the second line center and Reinhardt, so yeah, maybe they are dangerous. Nuge, Eberle are still there, Yakubov and Konechny, they have Konechny, that's, that's fine. Barkov, Nylander, Huberdo. Uh, do the uh, LA Kings have still have quick? Yeah, they still have quick, and he's still 91. So yeah, he is pretty dangerous. Okay, let's oh, let's move on. Sorry, uh, Minnesota, Groundland. Yeah, pretty weak team. Minnesota, uh, nothing special. Montreal, weak uh, Nashville team, and they don't have goalie whatsoever. So they will be really bad Richie yeah nothing special Tavares is still 91 De Fruc De he probably he should be really great offensively for them to play in the first line maybe De we will remember this name by the way uh, Abechkin is playing with Richards Mike Richards he was yeah he was a free agent so yeah Rangers spent some money uh, Ottawa, well, nothing special here. Giroux, Petty Kane, and they have uh, Christo, I think he's the great prospect. Yeah, Philadelphia is actually a pretty good team. Uh, okay, nothing special here. Clark, Crosby is still 94, Malkin is still, is still 88, but they probably still suck. Like Penguins always do. Yeah, they have Bobkov and Luck. Not really impressive. Uh, Pretty bad team, San Jose has Watson, Yashkin, yeah, nothing special. Palatia, Druin, Stamkos, yeah, Tampa probably is a good team. Do they have a goalie? Bishop, no, but maybe Bishop is playing good. Gathier, Kessel, Mistil, okay, nothing special. Nothing special, and yeah, this team is really special. Yeah, we can do good. Yeah, that's all the teams. And now we can really begin the simulation. Let's go to the end of the October. It will be not that many games. And uh, it's, I'm so anxious, anxious to finally start the simulation. Okay, we start at home. Yeah, with the nice wins against our division rival. And we, well, we're actually playing home and home. We're playing in Carolina and then on the next day we play in Toronto. That will be a long flight. And then we'll play then good year for rookies okay good to know and then we will be flying back south yeah this calendar is really fucked up another good win wonderful wonderful we lost to Toronto I really don't know what to expect from this team it's really really weird okay Oh, we, we actually have, I think, maybe like eight or even nine games in October. Scouting assignment. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, forwards and... I haven't seen any good prospects. Maybe we need to check the listings or something. Yeah, we have uh, eight games in October. We already played four. And yeah, we're allowing some goals. So Scoville is not really looking that impressive right now. But 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, we're allowing some goals, but looks like we're scoring. So this is pretty fine. Let's see. Okay, and the last game against Boston. Boston, yeah, they have, they still have, oh, they have Subban in the net, and whoa, 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 yeah, we lost the last uh, two games. Not good, not good. We allowed uh, ten goals. Probably one of those games were uh, backups game, so it's not all Scoville, and Halak is our backup. Yeah, we uh, we will do the quick stats look only. So, do you see? No, I don't see a Scoville in here, nowhere. Wins, yeah. Still no, yeah, even in wins there is no Scoville. Okay, okay, points, I don't see anybody to assist. Backstrom is 8th, so yeah, Backstrom is, is, is still good. We are close to the top. And yeah, yeah, we we are doing all right. We were doing excellent, but we lost the last two games. But it's 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 not a big deal. And uh, let's continue. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty decent. Oh, there is another another text message from Sam from our assistant manager. And he writes that he's worried about Scovy. He's three point three six in seven starts. That's not looking good. And as you can see, I answered him, don't worry, that's last two game, guy is fine. Yeah, I really think it is. If he made seven stars, if you uh, get uh, those two stars with uh, ten goals against average uh, in two stars out, he probably will be one of the best in the NHL. So I don't think that it's time to panic. I think that it's all fine and we just need to... Uh, uh, give him uh, some confidence and give him some stability. He needs a playing time. That's that's what he really needs. So yeah, you see, he comes back with one goals against a uh, game. Detroit is looking like I said. Detroit's looking solid. So let's see if uh, he can hold on against a team like that. And he can. You see, you see, he is finding his game. But I think it was Halak's game because Scoville still has five games. I think Halak is doing fine, by the way. Mm. Judging that we are doing fine. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's that's not a good game. And it's again Pittsburgh. Well, Pittsburgh is a decent team, so it's they're not that bad. But good thing we rebounded from that, so it's it's actually pretty pretty nice. Let's see another two games in a row and another loss. So yes, yeah, Scoville looks a little bit shaky. That's that's true. Well, that's. Uh, that is true. Yeah, we are bouncing back with the nice wins and we are looking like a playoff team. Those series against Islanders. Islanders have so-so team. They they don't really have anything special. Yeah, they, their record is exactly like that. But you see that Defrusche kid, he is really tearing it up. And uh, the, yeah, they shut us down. Well, that's not all Scoville's fault, to be honest. Okay. Okay, two to seven. Yeah, we uh, really got back, so that's all fine. We still have a couple of games, I think, or even maybe even like five games or something. Probably four. That's two home games against uh, Colorado. Is not doing good. Maybe we can get a nice win. Yeah, that's that's looking like a nice win to me. Phoenix what Phoenix will do oh and we allow too many goals yeah we score some but we allow too many five and four yeah that's it's a decent it's a decent record altogether five uh, 12 two and f 12 five and two but oh and look at that dolphin yeah looks like he's scoring some goals because now he's taking the lead and yeah we have two more games and it's a home series, so... Oh, Calgary! They are... Well, they're not on the East, but they're looking like a great team. Good win. Wonderful. And the game against New Jersey, they are pretty much... Well, I can't say that they are competition. And we lose 8-3. to three. That's not good. <laughs> not good at all. 
okay let's uh, look at the quick stats first nothing interesting here nothing well scoville is sixth in the, with the win maki is eighth in points okay 16 assists for maki and dolphin with is third with uh, 12 goals oh, that's that's kind of nice we are tied uh, for the lead in our division so yeah you see we're doing fine there are Ottawa and Detroit ahead of us on the east and yeah, a couple of more four teams actually ahead of us in the west so we are doing well all right I guess not too good not too bad let's look at the stats yeah let's look uh, where should we look let's go into team standings here we are we are eight and here is another message from our assistant Jim. He's saying that we went eight and six. Oh no 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 no! We went eight and five actually. He's mistaken because we had thirteen games and uh, eight wins. So yeah, we went eight and five. No, don't look at that. Oh, I should fire him. And he says that our power play percentage uh, has dropped from twenty six percent to twenty one in November. Maybe we need to look into that. Well, maybe we need to. Let's look at the stats first. Uh, Washington, we are second in goals for per game. Yeah, that's not the problem. We're scoring enough of goals. Pittsburgh is playing really good. And goals against per game. We are really bad. We are really at the bottom. We are third from the bottom. And that's the problem. That's something that is really, really a big deal. And uh, yeah, our power play percentage is 23, so yeah, probably assistant GM, he has some stats, he was maybe uh, monitoring them during the every month maybe, I don't know. So yeah, he knows that it's got a little bit worse in uh, this month, so yeah, that's, that's it. And uh, penalty kill is, where is he, 81. So I guess I guess it stayed uh, pretty much the same. Let me look at my. Yeah, I think that it's pretty much the same. It was around this uh, this amount even uh, in October. So yeah, that's fine. And now let's look at the player stats, and probably he will have uh, have. <laughs> what am I saying? I don't know. <laughs> He will be having something to say looking at that stats too. And we are right. Uh, looks, he's saying that Dolphin has got real hot. He scored 9 goals in 13 games in November. That's wonderful. Yeah, let's start looking at the forwards. Maki, yeah, he's doing fine. Brookbank, he's playing kind of like he should, being 95 overall. Uh, yeah, he's doing pretty fine. Kucherov, uh, yeah, he's actually really great too. Borokovsky is doing fine. Our top six looks like all of them are doing really, really well. Egan is a little bit slow. Uh, Sarla, Johansson, McGinn, Archer, Ross, yeah, those guys. Okay, plus minus. Dauphin is plus eight. Johansson, Sarla, yeah, our third line, they are not really holding it defensively for some reason. Maybe it's all Johansson, I don't know. I don't know, but probably something needs to be done. Power play goes, who's scoring power play? Yeah, Brooklyn at Dauphin, yeah, yeah, everybody's pretty much scoring, so that's fine. Let's look at the defenders. Points, who is the, the best points guy? McKeon, whoa, actually he's having really, really great stats. He has 13 points, 5 goals, okay. Arlov is doing nice. Roa, yeah, we have 3 offensive defensemen, and we have, then we have Mayer, Karpikowski, and Alzner. Yeah, Mayer has some penalty minutes, but he's plus 5, so I guess he's fine. Arlov is really a minus guy. And Alzner is also a minus guy. That's that's a little bit weird. Okay, and let's look at the goalies. 
Halak got worse, I think, and Scoville did not really get any better. Like, uh, our assistant GM said that he was 3.36 uh, in October, so now he's not really improving, and this is troublesome. We are winning because we're scoring a lot of goals, but we are allowing too many goals. Look at the save percentages. That's not gonna cut it. It's not good enough, and Halak is starting to drop. You see, he's 83 now. Well... God damn it. Uh, we will think about what should we do with Halak a little bit later. Uh, Scoville, Scoville, Scoville. I don't know. I guess not much we can do. He's a, he's our main uh, goalie, so we have to play him. Not much to do. And, well, it it is what it is. Not, not, not much else I can say about it. And right before we continue, let's look at our phone. And yeah, ESPN writes a tweet that re that kind of matters to us. And they're saying that Avechkin is minus nine, worst among Rangers. Maybe Anthony Bubbles, huh, that's me, knew something that we didn't. Well, not really. He's a veteran. He never was too good of a defensive player. And uh, well... I, I think he's still getting some points, so I don't really think that I knew something. I just wanted to build a new team, and well, I have to make I had to make some tough decisions. Yeah, Dolphin scored another goal. I think yeah, he was twelve. So yeah, that's that's pretty fine. Okay, we lost. To the Rangers! Oh, probably Avechkin scored <laughs> on us. Okay, okay, 15, 6 and 3. Yeah, we, we are doing fine. We are 8th in the NHL, so we are making playoffs. And I know we have to make a conference finals, but, well, it will be what it will be. So, it, not much we can do. We, we build a team, and now we just have to wait and see what's, what's really happening. Okay, we lost another one. Not great. Okay, scouting assignment. Uh, defenseman. Yeah, a lot of first rounders. Defenseman. And we kind of need defensive depth, so yeah. I should have scouted for defense. Uh, from the beginning, not scouting forwards, but yeah, what you gonna do? I don't know, I kind of want to keep this episode short and entertaining. Oh, how bad Winnipeg is, it's just crazy. Good thing we won against them. So I think it will be our last month. We will not be, we will look at quick sets and then probably we'll receive some more messages from our staff. And I think that would be it for this episode because, well, I don't want to really rush. Oh, nice shout out. I hope it was Scoville because, well, even if it was Halak, it's still nice. Yeah, our defense stepped up, looks like. We allowed two goals in the last three games. Can we move on with the series like that? Uh, yes, another shutout. Two goals in the f last four games. That's that's what I want to see. Maybe Scoville starts to feel a little bit comfortable. And, okay. Okay. Another win. Okay. Detroit looks like a dangerous team. And I always forget that Detroit... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was some goal scoring. I always forget that Detroit is now Eastern Conference team. And I always get surprised when I see them in playoff tree on the East. Or see them so much... Oh, yeah, we, we lost. But we had a great streak. Wonderful series. So it should be fine. Okay. Another great game. Yeah, we are we are having some weaker games, but we are pretty solid actually. So I am uh, not worried. This is probably our last game of the year. Oh, and we lost to New Jersey. Okay, okay, twenty-two seven and six. That's that's manageable. That's adequate. And no, yeah, against Philadelphia will be our last game. They're a pretty okay team, and yes, nice win. And I think we're done with the simulation for this video. Let's go and look at the quick stats. Uh, no, 
I can see nobody here. Yes, Koval is leading in wins. Brookbank is sixth in points. Well, he should be high somewhere. Backstrom and Mackey are two assist guys. Great job. Dauphin is fifth in goal. So yeah, you see all of our team is producing. Kucherov is seventh with goal. Yeah, we have a strong team and we are actually leading the East. And uh, only Vancouver is two points ahead of us in the West. Here is the message from our assistant GM. He's saying that we are five and ten this month. That's uh, that's, that's nice. Oh, also, he's saying that our penalty kill is got a little bit better. Our power play got a little bit worse. Okay, okay, that's I can live with that. Okay, we will not be looking at the stats. Let's just see what else he has to say. Oh, he's saying that uh, Kucherov and Dauphin both scored eight goals uh, this month. So yeah, looks like our we first and second line are both producing. That's fine. And Brooksy, I I think he means Brookbank, is our top point guy. He went 5 and 11 in uh, 16 games. Okay, I think we will stop it here. We will not be looking any further. Well, one last tweet from ESPN. And they're saying that Scoville caps... Uh, I, will I will read it to you. Caps goaltender Scoville is going 8 and 6 and 3 with 2.53 goals against average. Oh, that means that he uh, got really better. Well, he had, he had great, great series. And he has a chance on Rookie of the Year. There is not much of a competition. Well, we will be looking into that. And pro I hope it will be so. It would be a real big turnaround. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I would really love to hear from you. What do you think about those new statistical features? Those new tweets and stuff? Because, well, it would really... Uh, means a lot of me and it's actually a lot of work it's more time consuming but i thought that i want to bring more quality you know content to you guys so please let me know what you think if you have some ideas about what should we do how it should be any suggestions i will be glad to read them so please uh, go nuts and subscribe to my channel if you haven't uh follow me on twitter the real twitter uh and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.